Hey guys, what's up Aquarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So feel that I need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to... Ooh, Contact me for a personal reading. That information's below as well. I will try to be on um, Facebook Messenger this evening if you guys have a question you, you'd like to answer it to kind of quickly. I'll post on um, the community post on YouTube as well as on Facebook when I am available. Sometimes Facebook just decides to change me to available when I'm not really there. So, all right, wow. What you guys got going on? <clears throat> a breakup, a ending, something final. There may have been Pisces energy in the middle of it, though. Um, it still feels like somebody's either holding on or contemplating, maybe waiting for something. But for the outcome, you got the Fool, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. You're looking for a fresh start, it's new beginnings, you're disconnecting from something. And there's a whole outcome right there when we're starting with the tower. So it feels like this is a major, like a pivotal, a pivotal change in, in someone's life here. Like this is, this is pretty big. Things could have completely got uprooted. Massive changes. But with the outcome there, with the fool, um, that is hope. That's optimism. That's, you know, kind of being eager for fresh starts. So you have abundance planning. A lot of people uh, signs have got this card. And it's a low light of the moon. So it's kind of like that re that lay low, make your plan, you know, just recoup, regenerate. And you also have intuition. Let's see what the love oracle has for you. So listen to your intuition and take time to focus on yourself. All right. Love oracle for Aquarius, please. One more. All right, you got clock. Need time, takes time. In time, cycles, time to heal, to progress. You also have engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So let's see how this is going. All right, show me this tower for Aquarius. This feels like something that you outgrown. Like, it just... It wasn't, I mean, there, there's, you could have also had an epiphany while you were meditating, but you feel like you're in a pretty good place here with the four of swords. You know, it could just be like taking your time. That is healing, kind of that rejuvenation energy, but it also looks like whatever this is, um, it ended, but I don't know, it feels like you got some type of peace with it with the four of swords. You may be into something new. Or have like something new that you're working on, that you're passionate about, new project, new idea. But with the four of swords, like you can see that her heart, like she's just chilling. It's it's a uh, it's a pretty peaceful energy under that tower. Give me one more on the tower for Aquarius, please. Thank you. The Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. You kind of may just be out there doing your own thing. This may have happened pretty quickly. But you may have choices, options, or maybe just kind of living life, trying to figure things out. This is an okay energy. I mean, this is one who's kind of lighthearted, carefree. It doesn't really feel like you're completely sure where things are headed, but like, so it's almost like living your best life. Like, you, there's a lot of peace around that, a lot of fun. All right, show me this hangman for um, Aquarius, please. So again, Pisces energy, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. You may have hang, held on to something because of like values um, or like religious things, but it kind of feels like you're finding yourself here with the Six of Swords. You could be moving, you could be traveling, but at the very least, um, you're finding so much like peace around that.
which is so, it, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's almost not what was expected, though. Show me the Six of Swords for Aquarius. Yeah, there's that Ace of Wands. That just wants to pop up. It feels like there's something new that, I mean, it could be like job search, new idea, a new flame. Because the Knight of Wands kind of out there, maybe not really settling down, kind of just doing your own thing right now. This is like a recovery energy and feeling really good, really hopeful, really optimistic. Show me this outcome for Aquarius, please. So like I said, with the full the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, I mean, you're, you're going for fresh starts here. There's just something that you're all the way disconnecting from. And it's almost kind of like you're just leaving it on the table. There's like a big awakening like within self that's happening. And the reason I say leaving it on the table is because over here, like you had your heart laying right next to you, you may kind of like kept things really close to yourself. Maybe you didn't go out a lot or, you know, just haven't really let loose and have fun. And then by the end of it, when you're looking for these fresh starts, optimistic, you got the eight of cups. So it's like leaving it on the beach and kind of disconnecting. Like you're going your own way, totally new journey type thing. Pretty cool. The Five of Pentacles. Um, all right, so the Five of Pentacles. Somebody could definitely be missing you. Also, the Five of Pentacles. Just watch out for financial issues. Don't overspend. Because this can be like a... You got somebody spying back there. This can be kind of a wild, carefree, let loose energy. And then um, just don't overspend. That's the message there. The moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Let's see what that is. And then I'll leave it alone. Show me that moon. Because the moon can represent things that have not yet been revealed, that are still hidden. The Justice card and the Knight of Cups. Wow, something will work out in your favor. It could be a younger water sign or a water sign in general. Or it could just be somebody who has a whole lot of emotions and it's, or, you know, coming forward and kind of, they're changing the game. They're making it right. If this is somebody that's brand new, especially with, like, with this Ace of Wands, there's definitely feelings that are going to get developed there. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, it feels like that energy will want to invest. Like time, energy, plant seeds, take things slow. Yeah, into something that's long term there. Possibly marriage. If there is a legal situation, there could be some type of um, good news. All right, Aquarius. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. Also, like I said, I will try to be on Messenger this evening if you have a question. All right, you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.